Hey guys, how you doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. So I am going to set up from scratch uh, my war on the four, which is war on the four minute chart, um, dominator strategy um, using three commas and trading view alert. So it's a trading view and three commas tutorial. Um, so yeah, right, we'll get straight straight into it. So first we're gonna create some bots. So we're gonna go to three commas here and um, create the bot. So we need, we're gonna need a short bot and a long bot to take the long and the short trades. Um, this is the account that I'm gonna, the exchange that I'm using, this BitMEX account. So we're gonna call it war on the four. We'll, we'll use small case. And then we'll use um, capitals for that so we know which one it is and we are going to be trading um, BTC um, so we need to go down to the um, what have we got here the perp one that's this one so the uh, BTC USD contract um, strategy and um, this is long um, base order size um, we're going to use percentage of the account can we use what can we use one percent or is it base order size too small minimum of that much so we'll use a base order of two safety order size we'll put we'll put one but um we'll put two then but we don't actually um in fact what we'll do what we'll do initially we'll do this as um that as that this can be whatever obviously this isn't we're not going to change this from percentage to actual um basically btc usd um btc um usd so we're going to use that for the trades um limit as the is it going to be the order type um i'm not sure why it's not got the leverage on here normally it has the oh sorry <laughs> it's there leverage um custom we'll just put it at, um we'll just put it at 25x um our stop our stop would be a lot tighter than that anyway um, so we've got that there we're gonna put um, trading view custom signal because we're gonna do the signals target profit we're gonna do is 0. Um, 0. 0.5 but we're gonna have a trailing and we're gonna have a, um, a trailing deviation of 0. Point, um, we'll put 0. 0.4 so we can try and give the cha trades um, chance to chance to run i know we'll put we'll actually we'll actually initially we'll see how we get on with this but initially we'll put um 2.5 um yep so that's so we'll hopefully lock in profits then if the market is just a bit choppy um stop loss we're gonna put our stop losses at one percent i know that looks like a, a skewed risk to risk to reward um but um obviously this is um this is the trailing take profit it's going to be trailing so this could it could go obviously higher anyway this is just where we're going to lock it in we're going to have a trailing stop loss as well so as the market goes up this one percent will go up also we're going to get rid of these safety counts so that will get rid of those errors up there we're not having any safety orders any safety orders at all um we don't need any of that so this is basically the setup for the for the long bot um so two thousand five hundred dollars um we're gonna use um per trade just whilst we're testing it on this um smaller account uh 25x i mean this is insignificant we could use we could use cross with, with um a high percentage um trading view custom signal target take profit 0.5 trading deviation 0.25 um stop loss one percent trade um trailing um on stop loss timeout off and then none of this we don't need any of this so we create that bot that's the long one so we will we don't we don't need to start this bot at the moment so we'll just click close um <clears throat> so i think we can do this where we just copy this bot so we're on the four long we'll copy this we'll call it um we'll call it um we'll, the right exchange again we'll call this war war on the four short we're on the four short that's the right exchange that's the right pair short obviously and that's all the same 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 that's the same these are all off that's great 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 yeah that's it done so create that 
there's a short bot oh I don't know why I click start but I can, I can turn it off anyway um, so right we go to see our bots so we'll just whip that off um, right so there we go so we've got our two we've got our two bots um, right so now over to training view because we're gonna have to put in um, some um, some alerts that are then going to trigger these bots so um, here is trading view so the first alert we're going to need is for for this um, this this dominator here um, the larger time frame one because this is going to tell us whether we're going to have the buy or the sell bot activated so obviously you can see we're going to have the sell bot activated buy bot activated sell buy sell buy this is obviously over a period of days so we are going for the um, we're going to do the alert that's going to turn it on when we get there when we turn green and uh, we are green at the moment so obviously when we activate the strategy we're going to have to basically turn on turn on the green bot um, yeah right so let me get these alerts ready um, so we're going to set an alert we're going to use it on this here this larger time so basically um, we'll do once per bar close <coughs> what we do once per bar close yeah once per bar close um, and then we need to put in the actual message that we're going to send to so this this is the three commas webhook and um, we're actually going to put an, a sound on this one and um, we're not going to put a sound on the four minute one because there'll be too many but we've got the sound on that one um, so we're going to go to um, three commas so now we're going to go to that was the long one wasn't it yeah it's long so we're going to go to three commas we're going to go to the long bot so we're going to basically find the order that's going to turn this bot on um, so but what we will need to do actually we will need to turn if the other bot is on we'll need to turn the other bot off first sorry so we are going to first um, go to um, Sorry, we need to first go to our our short bot because we need to turn the short bot off first if the short bot is on. So here's a short bot. Um, so message to cancel all deals and stop bot. Um, yeah, I mean I guess we can cancel the deals um, if we then go to a short. If we're in a long trade, we will cancel the deals. Um, maybe cancel active deals. Um, message. We can leave the deal on, I think, but stop the bot maybe. Um, We'll have, we'll have to play this because I don't know. It's it's obviously going to be marginal whether we're in a trade. I mean, if we're coming down, it's unlikely we we're going to be um, in a in a short trade. So um, we'll assume we'll assume that we are. Um, so we'll cancel we'll cancel all the deals and stop the bot. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Cancel all the deals and so we're going to copy this. Copy. We're going to put it into our uh, JSON formatter just to check that it's all. Um, so we, before we paste it into Trading View, um, so we're going to paste that. So this is going to basically stop the short bot. So this will be the short bot here. Um, short. So we're going to go back to the long bot now. Here's the long bot. So now we need to use this to start the bot, and we don't need to activate any deals or anything. All we need to do is start the bot. So message to start bot. Here we go. Start bot copy um, we will paste this into here um, yep there we go so we've got all that we're gonna put a delay on here of 15 seconds just to make sure there's time for it to, to work um, so yeah process just to check this is right this is green should tell us it's all right so we're gonna copy this copy all that and we're gonna then put this into our alert here so oh press copy I pressed I pressed the wrong one <laughs> right so back to here that's okay we'll just copy it again I press copy and not paste again so right so this is the alert in here so what this is gonna do is gonna stop our short bot and start our long bot um, when we get the longer larger time frame long so um, we'll do it um, yeah create this there we go so that alert should populate up here and that alert is on so that's fantastic so now we are going to basically do the same for the larger time frame short bot so we are going to go into we can leave this on because obviously this is the one we're going to be stopping so um, 
did we i think we closed the deals didn't we yeah so we're going to go basically go to our um trading view to create the alert first so this is the alert this is going to be this um, longer time frame one. This is going to be short. This is going to be once per bar close. Um, we're going to have an alert a sound on this. We're not going to have it for the four minute one. So now we're going to basically get the um, alert to put into here. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> this is the long bot, remember? So we're going to, if we're going short, we need to close the long bot. So cancel all bot deals and stop bot. So copy this first put this into JSON formatter so we've got that there I can just delete some of the space we don't necessarily need it there um, and we're now going to go to our short bot which we're then gonna have to start now so the short bot here um, and this will be all we're gonna do is start the bot message to start bot copy that JSON formatter in we go um, so all right we'll delete we'll sort that out um, right so we'll just process that just to check that's fine that is all fine excellent copy all this and we then need to paste that into here um, oh we didn't put the delay in but we can put the delay here it's not a problem we will just change this to 15 seconds again um, and there we go so we will now create that so let me just double check this this is once per bar close short um, and this will be um, once per bar close long all, all in there all good Right, so there we go. So now we've got basically the bot that is going to turn on our um, turn on our um, bots on and off, and then we're obviously going to need the one that's going to actually start the deals. Um, so we're now going to go back to, uh, sorry, we're going to create the alert first. So this is going to be um, the shorter one, um, and we're going to create the long one first. Um, once per bar um, and then we're gonna have more actions yeah we're not gonna play the sound for this because this will go up quite a lot and we don't really need this alert alert going off all the time so once per bar this time long so now we're gonna have to find the deal start conditions so obviously our bot, we're not gonna have any um, any existing deals um, because um, when we flip to the long and short, it's going to stop the button, stop the deal. So we won't have a long deal. So normally we'd have to put in the two things. If we were flipping from long to short um, on this bot, we'd have to put in to close the, the close the last deal, but we don't need to. So all we need to do is um, message um, uh, message for deal start signal. That's literally it. Control copy message for deal start signal. Um, and that's it. That just that 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 is literally what will start the deal. Um, so we will put that in to our trading view alert. Oh, press copy again. What's wrong with me? <laughs> uh, right there we go. Um, we don't really need a delay in here, but a delay of ten seconds just um, just in case there was any sort of um. A, a delay caused by the swapping over of the two bots so we'll create that so that is literally it that that's the long uh, long one create that let me just double check we were on the long bot here because I didn't mess up oh we did it see we did it wrong look guys <laughs> there we go so I did do that on the short one so we're gonna edit that one um, so this is gonna start this, the deal but um, I need to go over to here um, edit this edit this so we actually put long but this is actually the short one so the short one one spare bar no alert there's the correct order we'll save that so now this should be the correct short one and we were on the correct short bot here message for deal start so now we are going to go to the long bot and get that message start deal so we can copy this now message to message for deal start signal copy we copied that anyway so it's ready for us once you create the alert create the alert this time we are creating the long alert so um this one 
we're going to create the long alert um, once per bar we don't need the sound excellent and we did that so as long as I press um, <laughs> paste and not copy we are in business so change that to 10 again you don't really need to do that but um, just for the sake of it we did it so there we go so we've now got those on we've now got those turning the bots on currently we're in a buy buy and um, buy on the um, larger time frame to actually so actually to get this fully active um, <coughs> what we need to do go back to my bots to get this fully active um, we just need to manually turn this long one on um, because obviously it's not going to turn on of its own accord so start the long one the four long bot and then that is active so that is waiting for the signals for the four minute the long is on and um, if we then if we do go to a cell this goes to red it will stop our um, stop our long bot and then sell the short bot and start the short bot and then the short bot then will be active and then that will take signals from this obviously these signals that are getting sent for the buyers and sells the sells obviously won't work if there's not the active bot so we don't need to worry about that um, and that's it really so that is it all set up so we can um, we can basically see how this is going to work and, and test this for the next month we can maybe adjust the profit we have to adjust maybe the risk of our parameters on um on um on your three commas and um, depending on how the market's moving we may have to have to increase our take profits and increase our stops maybe but um i'm hoping we don't have to do that and we can keep it tight as like a, as a scalping sort of scalping trying to get us into good trades um system so we'll see how that goes so anyway so this is trading with dan um uh, remember it's not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and yeah and i will um have some more videos for you guys later today yeah if you guys check out i do daily daily updates on on the um, indicators that we're using so um yeah feel free to, to keep a check on that